feminism that doesn't benefit men is not my feminism. Um, I mean, does it really exist? Because feminism is something about equality, right? So uh, it means feminism means that you can choose um, what kind of gender from like so you, you see a gender as a palette and you can draw with this palette freely and uh, ideally you would have as much power over uh, creating yourself as a piece of art as you can. So like I see that that's their that's their meaning of developing, of evolving as a human being or as a as a human humanity. Right? Um, so we were giving will and we were giving mind for, for some reason, I guess, to to define ourselves, to to, to think about our um, social um, presence and to think to redefine our um, existence by ourselves and within our community and within our society. So feminism, it's a great tool that helps us to understand actually that um, throughout the history, for some reason, that one part of humanity was deprived from having basic human rights. From, from for some weird reason that they don't have a dick, right? That they don't have a dick. If you don't have a dick, then you have to then you have to, I don't know, be be be, be, be a slave. That's strange, right? And um, so feminism is about equality, and how feminism can be against men, I don't know. It is really interesting for me as uh, for Russian activists that is still a question here whether women have right to have abortions or not. Because you know in, in Russia it's completely out of the question. Like we just do have this right and like you know snow is white. Women have right to have abortions. That's it the end of story. Um, and then I started to think like what why? Why it is like that in uh, in Russia? Because you know like for Unfortunately, for a lot of American people, uh, it's um, it's kind of obvious that Russia is um, is not as developed as America, which is not true at all. Um, we had amazing um, experience of um, Soviet experiment, and you know it brought us a lot of terrible things, including extinction of philosophy and art. Uh, and uh, me as a like, philosophy student, I really suffered from that. But at the same time, it brought a lot of brilliant things, like, you know, like strong feminism, socialist movement. And in the beginning of 20s, uh, Russian women, once and for all, I think, realized that they do have right to control their bodies then, um, so they were given right to have abortion in the 20s, then they lost this right and when Stalin came to power, but then they got it back in 1953 and since then they always had this right. I don't like to uh, uh, answer uh, nasty things with nasty words. What I, like, when, even when I was attacked in uh, McDonald's uh, in Moscow with this green medicine liquid in my eyes and uh, like some metal objects thrown in my and Masha's, my colleague heads. Like what I did at that instance, I just came to those people and hugged them and then asked like, why, why did you do that? And then I thought, uh, I saw that I saw something in their eyes, like they, they, they were, they started to think that actually we are human beings, because you know this, this beginning of war where you, when you dehumanize uh, other. So yeah, I don't want to dehumanize people who hate feminism.